a lot of Western commentators have said, this is it, it's the end for Putin, he's damaged. And to some extent, he obviously is damaged. He's been confronted with a, a major act of opposition to his regime. Nevertheless, if you think about the situation in Russia, this is a country at war. This is a country whose elite, most of whom have been working for Putin for decades, know that if Putin falls, they fall, uh, and whose people are, as far as we can see, firmly supportive both of Putin and of the war. So what we're now seeing is a gathering of the, the clans, if you like. Russians instinctively support their president in times of difficulty. The Russian press are saying, OK, we're back to business as usual now. We need to get on with the war and, and all of that. And that's their aim. And it is likely to work. One or two slight head, head side winds are possible. Prigozhin, very difficult man to cage, may make more trouble on one hand. Um, and there are Russian presidential elections next year into which all of this will play. For the immediate future, it looks as if they will calm things down, they will get on with the war. And the real question mark over Putin's future doesn't lie in all of this Prigozhin theater. It lies in how they do in the war. If the, 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 uh, the Ukrainians make the breakthrough, which they are hoping for in the course of their counteroffensive, and which I suspect their confidence has been lifted by these recent events, then all bets are off. If, if, if Russia starts catastrophically losing, then Putin is genuinely in danger. If, on the other hand, and there are some signs that this may be what's happening, the war is bogging, is, is, is bogging down and the uh, Ukrainian advance remains blocked and the thing turns into an extended deadlock, then Putin is undoubtedly there because the Russians need him as their leader in the war and their pressure will grow on both sides to get into some sort of talks. A, a lot to unpack there. I just want to go back uh, to uh, the, the ties on to what Juliana just asked you about, and that was part partially to do with Prigozhin's motivation. Uh, evidently, there was a rift between him and the Ministry of Defense. So I just wonder, out of this, does the Minister of Defense, Shoigu, actually come out in a stronger position, or will President Putin have to make the tactical decision of perhaps diminishing Shoigu's powers in light of what's gone on this past weekend? One quite important fact about Putin, I, I saw quite a lot of him when I was British ambassador, is that he doesn't give in under pressure. Prigozhin's pressure has been for him to get rid of Shoigu, so the one thing that is guaranteed not to happen in the next few weeks, I would say, is Shoigu's dismissal. It may eventually happen. I'm sure he's been useless as defence minister. Um, nevertheless, one reason why he survived for so long is because Prigozhin has been so noisy about him going, and that factor has been reinforced by the last couple of days' events. Many people were surprised that President Putin even allowed himself to get into this situation. The fact that so much of the fighting had been delegated to this uh, sort of uh, mercenary group that wasn't directly reporting into the Ministry of Defense. That's where the heart of the issue came from. But I do wonder, with the departure of Prigozhin, with uh, mercenary forces, some of them deciding, deciding to stay on in Russia to continue the fight, what that actually means for the front against Ukraine and whether it limits Russia's ability to go on the offense at this point? No, that's a, that's a good question, and that's right. The, the most effective component of the Russian military, which has been fighting in Ukraine, has been the Wagner. And that's a very good basis for Prigozhin's attack on the Ministry of Defense, um, and actually for Prigozhin's popularity within Russia. It's quite striking that yesterday, when he and his troops left rostov on don in the south, they were applauded by the local people. The local people are in favor of a much more vigorous prosecution of the war. The fact that apparently Prigozhin is now out of it, and maybe Wagner is also out of it, will weaken Russia's performance on the battlefield.